Do not pull on your neck. Hold for two to three seconds and then slowly return to your starting position. Exhale while sitting up and inhale while lowering. Do this exercise in sets of 10. Start with two to three sets and add more sets over time. Push-ups increase the strength and endurance of the muscles of the chest and upper arms. Keeping your back straight, slowly lower your chest to the mat while inhaling and raise yourself while exhaling. Perform as many push-ups as is comfortably possible without altering your form. Again, perform three sets. Pull-ups increase the strength and endurance of the arm muscles. Grasp a bar overhead with your palms facing outward and arms extended. Slowly pull your chin to just above the bar while breathing out. Lower yourself slowly to your original position while inhaling. Perform three sets of as many pull-ups as is comfortably possible. Stair climbing increases the muscular strength and endurance of the legs. Run up flights of stairs for no longer than 15 to 30 seconds. Run in a controlled manner so you do not trip, making sure you touch each step. Slowly return to your starting position and allow approximately one minute rest before repeating. Perform as many sets as is comfortably possible. It is generally recommended that weightlifting be done three days a week with one day between each session. The availability of oxygen is a critical factor in your ability to sustain physical work. This is why firefighters wear the self-contained breathing apparatus. The air in the tank is transferred to the lungs where the oxygen gets into the blood. However, there are two other critical factors in your ability to use this oxygen. They are the ability of the heart to pump the blood to the muscle and the ability of the muscle to use the oxygen. This ability is defined as aerobic fitness. Research conducted over the years on firefighters has shown that one's oxygen consumption capability is an important factor in being able to effectively fight fires. Being physically fit for firefighting means having an appropriate aerobic fitness level. Participating in aerobic fitness activities will improve one's chances of passing the firefighter test if you are presently marginally fit. There are many aerobic activities. Some of the more commonly used activities to effectively improve one's fitness are running, jogging, walking briskly, cycling, swimming, cross-country skiing. Any of these activities will improve your aerobic fitness if done correctly because they are dynamic and require you to work the large muscle groups of the legs and trunk for extended periods. It is important to note that if you have had heart problems, experienced chest pain, extreme shortness of breath, or dizziness with mild exertion, you should contact your physician before vigorously exercising. Moreover, for safety, the American College of Sports Medicine recommends that a man over the age of 40 and a woman over the age of 50 who are not currently active exercisers should obtain a medical exam before beginning a vigorous exercise program. Individuals of any age with two or more of the following risk factors should obtain a medical exam before vigorously exercising. Hypertension, high cholesterol, cigarette smoking, diabetes, family history of heart disease in parents or siblings prior to age 55. In order for your program to be most effective in improving aerobic fitness, there are certain principles that should be followed. Intensity refers to how hard you should work. The best way to achieve an appropriate exercise intensity is to monitor your heart rate. This is done by placing two fingers over the radial artery located on the thumb side of your wrist. Measure your heart rate now while you are at rest. Count your beats for 10 seconds. In order to have an effective exercise intensity, you should try exercising at the following heart rates depending upon your age. 
one very important guideline for an 